Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving an equation with fractions leading to a quadratic equation. Now in previous videos we looked at how we could add together algebraic fractions and basically whenever you see an equation where you've got algebraic fractions added or subtracted you should always combine them into a single fraction first. So step one is to add or subtract any algebraic fractions and the next step, which we'll get to in a bit, is to multiply through by the denominator. So multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction. And that will get rid of any fractions in your equation. And then you'll get a quadratic equation and you're going to solve that quadratic equation probably by factorization. And we saw in previous videos how to factorize and solve a quadratic equation. So let's do step one add, subtract any algebraic fractions. Now we saw how to previously do this. We multiply the denominators, so x plus five times two x plus one. We'll expand this out in a second. And we cross multiply the numerator. And if you don't know how to do this, do look at my previous videos on this. So we cross multiply the numerators in this cross type fashion. Two multiplied by two x plus one, plus in the middle, two times x plus five. And that is equal to 1. Now, we should probably expand out everything first. We've got 2 times 2x, which is 4x, plus another 2x is 6x. I'm just doing this quite quickly. 2 times 1 is 2, plus the 2 times 5, 10. 2 plus 10 is 12. And we should multiply out the denominator as well. So x times 2x is 2x squared. We've got a 10x there, and another x, which is 11x. And we've also got 5 times 1, which is 5 equals 1. So we've done step 1. We've added any algebraic fractions. Next, we should multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. Now, the motivation here is that we don't like fractions and equations. And whenever we have a fraction and equation, we should multiply through by the denominator so that we don't have a fraction anymore. So we're going to multiply through by this. If we multiply the left-hand side of the equation by 2x squared plus 11x plus 5, that just gets rid of the over 2x squared plus 11x plus 5, and you get the 6x plus 12. And if you multiply the 1 by 2x squared plus 11x plus 5, well, 1 times anything is itself, so you get 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. So this is starting to look good. We've got an equation now where there's no fractions at all. So now we solve the quadratic. So remember how to solve a quadratic equation. We want zero on one side. And we should put everything else on the side where the x squared will be positive. So let's put everything on the right hand side so we have a positive x squared term. We're going to subtract 6x. So we subtract 6x from this, we're going to get 5x. And we also don't want that plus 12 there, so we minus 12 from both sides and that's going to give us minus 7. So I did that all in one step there. And because we've subtracted both of those, we're going to have 0. And now we just need to factorise this quadratic. And if you don't know how to factorise a quadratic where you have a number from the x squared, then do look at my video on that first. So let's factorise this. You could split the middle term. That's the method that I usually pres prescribe. But I'm just going to intelligently guess the two brackets. Because to get the 2x squared, it's got to be 2x and x. That would multiply out to give the 2x squared. And to get to the minus 7, well, because 7 is prime, it's got to be 7 and 1. And one of them's got to be negative. So if I make this plus 7, that gives you 7x. And if I make that minus 1, that gives you minus 2x. 7x minus 2x will be 5x, which is right. So now we've got this factorised equation. And then we say... And then we make each bracket zero, because we've got two things multiplied together equal to zero, then one of those numbers has to be zero. Now, if 2x plus 7 is zero, do you remember the quick way to do it is you negate that, so minus 7 divided by whatever number is from front of the x, so it's minus 7 over 2. Or, if you negate that, so you get plus 1, so x is 1, is the other solution. Let's just check those. If we use the 1 in this equation... We get 2 over 1 plus 5, which is 2 over 6, that's a third. And 2 over 2 plus 1, that's 2 thirds. A third plus 2 thirds is indeed 1. So 1 will be a solution to this equation because 1 satisfies this equation. 